for breakfast.
loving you always with the love that's true always when the things you plan need a helping hand i will understand always always days may not be fair always that's when i'll be there always not for just an hour not for just a day not for just a year but always <laughs> Take it, big nuggets. Days may not be fair. Always. That's when I'll be there. Always. So long. Not for just an hour. Not for just a day. Not for just a year. But always. Not for just an hour, not for just a day, not for just a year, but always. Happy Wednesday, everyone. It's Weekly Wacky Wednesday. It's Weekly Wacky Wednesday. It's Weekly Wacky Wednesday. So, uh, yes, as you can see, we have some new friends here on Weekly Wacky Wednesday. Let me try to show you this in a way that I can get my webcam to focus on it. Yeah, I think, I think you can probably see it pretty well. So this is the one and only prototype Nuggets Chick, or is it a chicken kitty? And this was made, this was a joint effort. Let me figure out. This was a joint effort between oh, between Frank and Chris. And I am just in awe. Look at him. Isn't he cute? He's got so much detail. Look at the feathers. Little face. Little handles. And he's a fully functional shaker. Yes, um, I don't know all of the ins and outs of the magic of 3D printing, but I do know he was 3D printed. They even somehow made these pellets and were able to put them inside the nuggets while they were printing him, however that happens. And uh, so this is 001, the prototype. 
and this is zero zero one half. This is uh, see it even says on the bottom zero zero one half, and uh, this is this is little nuggets, and he also has. I'm gonna hold my hands in a way that you can see it. I think you can see it. Isn't that the cutest thing? Look at that. So much detail on a little chicken. And he also has, he makes a little sound. So cute. So I'm, I'm in awe. And there's also a certificate of authenticity, although I can't really show it on here because then, you know, the word might get out. Big corporations might try to take the certificate try to make their own versions you know it could be a it could be a whole thing so we got to be careful we got to be careful <laughs> but I'm I'm so in awe so Frank and Chris I guess Chris is not here right uh but Frank is here incredible I'm, I'm just in awe the doctor told me if you want to live long listen to the songs of Sarah Nimitz I I would want to know where that doctor got their training but I like the sentiment Industrial secret, yes. So, how is everyone doing today? I went to the post office yesterday, and I got I went to my PO box, and I got these little guys, and I also got some incredible pickle brine based tomato spritz mix, which is Bloody Mary mix, um, and it was it was pretty incredible. Also, if I look a little crazy, I had a a pretty bad headache, which is now gone. But if you're looking at me and wondering, whoa, she looks a little rough. That's why. But I'm good now. So I'm, I'm very happy. I'm very happy to be here. Doctor got his training on Gallifrey. <laughs> Waiting on the day to come. I mean, Easter. Yes, that's right. I want to wish everyone very happy holidays. Uh, I know um, it was Passover recently. Still, Still is, I think right? Um, correct me if I'm wrong. And Easter is coming up. So it's, um, it's a very, very special week. And uh, whatever you are celebrating, however you are celebrating, I hope you are having a wonderful week and a wonderful day. So here we go. It's time for the very first sip of coffee of the day. Here we go. Yep. It's amazing. I've been having some very, very strange dreams lately. Last night, I had a dream that Snuffy called me because he was in the area. And for those of you who don't know Snuffy, he's my uh, my buddy, music mentor. So he was in the area of my house, which is weird because he lives like an hour away. And he called me to let me know that there was a party with a film director uh, taking place on the fifth floor of my building, which my building only has two floors, so figure that out. But in the dream logic, it made sense. So went to the party. Turns out the film director guy was really, really weird. Uh, and I walked in and he goes, you know who I am, of course. And he kind of gestures magnificently uh, to his bookshelf and his award shelf. And I, I went, oh, yeah. And I Ended up leaving the party, but then I got back to my house, and somehow I couldn't remember if I had said goodbye to everyone, and I was I was worrying, oh no, did I not say goodbye to these people? So I called Snuffy, and he said, no, you said goodbye to everyone. Thrilling dream, I know. And then, suddenly, I was in a, an only German-speaking water park, um... And in my dreams, I couldn't remember much German for some reason. And there were these walkways where it was kind of like a street. You know, you, you can drive one way in one direction, the other way in the other direction. Um, but there were, there were these water jets spraying up. And you were only supposed to go down this one way. But the sign was in German. And I wasn't able to understand which way I was supposed to go. So I went the wrong way. And then this guy was laughing at me, and I said to him in really broken dream German, I was like, Ich kein Sprecher Deutsch, which was, I think is terribly grammatically incorrect. But he understood it enough, and I was in a dream. So, um, And uh, so I went back to my hotel room, and it turned out my mom let me know that 
I had gotten some coupons. So now I was going to be able to get $50 or like $56 worth of food delivered to the room. And that's all I remember. I don't know how it worked out. So I guess the moral of the story is don't go to weird parties with pompous um, pompous gentlemen saying, you know who I am. <laughs> no, who are you? Which reminds me of a song. I've had this song kind of in my head lately. And I wasn't really sure how it related to anything. But then as I was telling this dream, I went, oh, this actually, this fits really well in the context of the dream. I love this song, uh, but I never really play it. So let's see how it goes. <laughs> This song was stuck in my head while I was doing tax preparation. All right. In honor of weird dreams and German water parks and strange parties on the fifth floor of a two-story building. Thanks, Sam. You walked into the party like you were walking on your way out. Your head strategically dip below one eye your scarf it was every kind you had one light in the mirror as you watch yourself go out and all the girls dream that they'd be a partner they'd be a partner and you're so vain you probably think this song is about you You're so vain I bet you think this song is about you Don't you, don't you Well, you had me several years ago When I was still quite naive Well, you said that we made such a pretty pair And that you would never leave but you gave away the things you loved And one of them was me I had some dreams that were cows in my coffee Cows in my coffee And you're so vain You probably think the song is about you You're so vain, you're so vain I bet you think the song is about you really rather rude oh you're so vain i bet you think the song is about you you're so vain so vain i bet you think the song is about you about you don't you well i hear you went up to saratoga and your horse naturally up to Nova Scotia to see a total eclipse of the sun well you where you should be all the time and when you're not you're with someone who would spy or the wife of a close friend wife of a close friend and you're so vain you probably think the song is about you you're so vain, so vain I bet you think this song is about you Don't you, don't you oh. You're so vain I bet you think this song is about you Don't you, don't you I love that song. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, tomorrow marks April Fool's Day and MLB opening day. I am a big, big fan of April Fool's Day, and I can't wait to see how, how we can mess with some people. Usually I just do it to people in my own life directly, you know, that I see on a daily basis, but I, there could be some way to do it online, but it can be hard, and I don't want to, I don't want to confuse people or make them think, cows are invading, I don't know. Hi, Pavel, thank you. Cubs are in first, woo! So, um, we have some big updates in the wildlife story, uh, suburban wildlife adventure. There was a, uh, a bird, a dove, a morning dove, that had made his home on top of the little lighting fixture box out front of my house, um, in front of the front door. And I went out to go to the, check the mail yesterday, and I saw this bird up there, and I wasn't expecting him there, and he wasn't expecting me. So we had this moment, we both looked at each other, and I went, oh, sorry, bird! And he went, he flew off. And I broke my sandal, broke my favorite sandal that I've had since I was in middle school. The sandal, the straps on it are keyboard. It was super cool, but it's in a better place now. So the bird goes, I go, ah! Grab my dismembered sandal and step back. And now I'm concerned because, A, not a great place to build your house when there's going to be a bunch of traffic. I'm talking about the bird's house, not mine. Um, but at the same time, I, I would love to, to work it out so we can both use the space. But uh, I figured the bird had probably gone on to find a better place that was safer for him because really this light fixture is right by the door. It, oh, the door opens, the light fixture's there. The bird's going to get freaked out. But this morning, I look, and lo and behold, what is there? You guessed it, the bird. So the bird family is back. I guess I can't leave my house for however long it takes for bird eggs to hatch. So if someone wants to find out, I don't know if I'm going to not be able to leave for two weeks or what's going on. <laughs> So I'm curious. No, this is not a dream. This is real life. So has anyone gone and watched that awesome nature series, the, the Earth After Dark, where you can hear the mouse go, eee! I say sell the house. Yeah, you just don't live here anymore. The bird is the new owner. Did he say evermore? No, but he said he has, he's got a raven buddy that, that does is quite fond of saying that. Buy them a birdhouse. That that would be a good option. I wish they could just relocate to a different part of the house with less traffic. How great was that mouse excerpt? The mouse is much higher than I can get. He's like, it's really, really, really high pitched. <laughs> I saw that. The E has to have eight E's. I love it. The, the mouse is pretty incredible. So... Uh, I saw a request on Facebook yesterday for a BJ song, BJ Thomas. So I'm going to do a little bit of uh, raindrops. Because I've done Hooked on a Feeling many times and I have done raindrops fewer times. So let's see how this goes. Raindrops keep falling on my head. Just like the guy whose feet are too big for his bed Nothing seems to fit Though raindrops are falling on my head They keep falling So I just didn't miss some talking to the sun And I said I didn't like the way he got things done Sleeping on the job Those raindrops are falling on my head They keep falling But there's one thing I know 
the blues they're sent to leave me won't defeat me it won't be long till happiness steps up to greet me raindrops keep falling on my head but that doesn't mean my eyes will soon be turning red crying's not for me cause I'm never gonna stop the rain by complaining because I'm free nothing's worrying me <laughs> It won't be long till happiness steps up to greet me. Raindrops keep falling on my head, but that doesn't mean my eyes will soon be turning red. Crying's not for me, cause I'm never gonna stop the rain by complaining. Because I'm free Nothing's worrying me <laughs> So there you go, a little bit A little bit of BJ Thomas Yeah, if, um, if you want If you will keep him in your, your thoughts Prayers, meditations whatever uh i know he would he would love some love and i i talked to him a little bit yesterday and he says he's really feeling the love coming so that is pretty pretty cool that he's feeling it so keep it coming keep it coming what song would you like to hear i i could tell you plenty of stories about weird dreams or the wildlife that is taking over my home. I probably won't live here in the next year. I think they're just going to move in and I'm probably going to live on top of a lighting fixture. It's going to be pretty weird. But until then, until the birds oust me, what would you like to hear? My nose is running. Uh, if I fell in love with you. I'm afraid I would be able to start if I fell and then I wouldn't remember all of it. Ooh, don't dream it's over. I love that song. Let's do Don't Dream It's Over. Let me look up a chart for this. Don't dream it's over. Wait a minute. Did you say crowded house because the animals are out? Are they ousting me? Or <laughs> my brain's not working. I need to drink more coffee. This is what happens when you spend a lot of time editing. I'm very happy to say that I have finished the video for Good 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 which comes out on Friday and I am so, 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 so excited for you to see it because a whole lot of effort and love went into it and I'm really psyched there. I definitely shot more footage on this than I have in a really long time. So it's going to be fun. All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's see how this is going to go. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Mom, Mom. There is freedom within there is freedom without Try to catch the deluge in a paper cup That chord's not right. Why would they say that? Ah, that's not right either. I don't like this chart. Hang on one second. I want to get this right. Okay. 
Okay. That was not a turkey, that was reversing. Here we go. There is freedom within. There is freedom without. Try to catch the deluge in a paper cup. There's a battle ahead. Many battles are lost. But you'll never see the end of the road while you're traveling with me. Hey now, hey now, don't dream it's over. Hey now, hey now, when the world comes in, they come, they come to build a wall between us. They know that they won't win. Now I'm towing my car. There's a hole in the roof My possessions are causing me suspicion But there's no proof And in the paper today Tears of war and of waste But you turn right over to the TV page Hey now, hey now Don't dream it's over Walking again to the beat of the drum, and I'm counting the steps to the door of your heart. Only shadows ahead, barely clearing the roof. Get to know the feeling of liberation and relief. Hey now, hey now, don't dream it's over. They know that they won't win Oh, you know that they won't win Oh, you know that they won't win I love that song. Hey, cow. Hey, cow. Hey, cow. How did I miss that? Ooh, Jackie Wilson. I do love some Jackie Wilson. Your love keeps lifting me higher than I ever been lifted before. So keep it up, quenching my desire, and I'll be at your side for Evermore. That's why you love me. Love keeps lifting, keeps on, keeps lifting, lifting me higher and higher. I said you love me. Love keeps lifting, keeps on, oh, lifting me higher and higher. One time I was downhearted. Disappointment 
was my only friend. Then it came, and that soon departed, and it will never show its face again. That's why your love, in the background, keep lifting me, keeps on, oh, lifting me higher and higher. I said your love keeps on, oh, lifting me higher and higher, higher. Busted flat in Baton Rouge, waiting for a train. Just feeling near as faded as my dream. Bobby thumbed the diesel down just before it rained. Rode us all the way into New Orleans. Well, I pulled my phone out of my dirty red bandana, and I was playing a song where Bobby sang the blues, yeah. When she wiped her sleeping time, I was holding Bobby's hand in mine, and we sang song that driver knew Ooh, yeah, freedom's just another word for nothing left to lose Nothing, I've been nothing honey, if it ain't free Oh, and if feeling good was easy Lord, when the same and blues, you know feeling good was good enough for me Ooh, good enough for me my baby McGee. From the Kentucky coal mines to the California sun, yeah, Bobby shared the secrets of my soul. Through all kinds of weather, through everything we've done, yeah, Bobby, baby, kept me from the cold. One day up in New Salinas, Lord, I let him slip away. He was looking for that home, and I hope he finds it. Well, I tread on my tomorrows for one single yesterday to be holding Bobby's body next to mine. Ooh, yeah, freedom's just another word for nothing left to lose. And it's all that Bobby left me Oh, and if feeling good was easy, my Lord When I sang the blues You know feeling good was good enough for me Ooh, good enough for me and my Bobby McGee La-da-da, la-da-da-da La-da-da-da-da-da La-da-da
I do. I do love me some some Janis Joplin, some Bobby McGee. I had this Janis Joplin CD. I can't remember. I think it was just a best of that I had gotten from the library. Remember when you used to, this is illegal, I'm sure, but come get me. Um, <laughs> and probably the statute has uh, expired, but remember when you used to go to the library and you would check out CDs and then you would load them into your uh, Windows media player or iTunes and then you could burn a CD of whatever you wanted. Uh, the special days before it was very easy to do with Spotify playlists, but I had this best of album, a uh, record CD of Janis Joplin that I used to carry around in my little disc man. And I just would listen to that over and over and over and over again. And uh, it, it brought me so much joy. I've listened to those songs so many times, so many times. Ah, I see Mike says. Um, what key was that in? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to remember. I'll just do it in G. Uh, no. Oh Lord, won't you buy me a Mercedes Benz? My friends all drive Porsches. I must make amends. Work hard all my lifetime, no help from my friends. So, oh Lord, won't you buy me a Mercedes Benz? Spaceman says, just reached a milestone of 500 Lego sets. That's incredible. Wow. So where do you put them all? When you, when you finish making them, do you put them on a shelf? Or do you have to have a special room designated? A Mercedes Benz. You remember the Janice song, Half Moon? That was one of my favorites. Half moon, nighttime sky. Seven stars, seven eyes. Seven stars from seven seas. Just to bring all your sweet love home to me. And it filled me like the mountains. Yeah, 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 yeah. Feel me like the sea, though. I love that one. All right. I saw someone write taxi up above, so I'm going to do a little taxi. Well, it's a low light over hyped Hollywood night Full of diamonds and six-figure deals The suits are sharp, the skirts are tight And it's anything but a real So what do you say? We make our getaway There's a taxi outside a fountain we can go downtown and have a real good time. A taxi outside, so jump on in. Turn the meter on, let the light begin. Oh, you beat me to it with the angry moo. It's playing games with my mind and the piano's playing, but the changes aren't right. And I think it's time, I think it's time that we run down through the hall and we break down all the walls. There's a taxi outside, fountain by. We can go downtown and have a read. A taxi outside to jump on it. Turn the meter on. Let the light begin. Let them pose for all the pictures. Like so called millionaires. By the time they start to miss us, 
We'll be out of the fabulous hell. Be around about the words you take you out and out. I send the day away. Another song I used to listen to nonstop. Thank you guys so much. Tom, what is your your icon? Is that a Cubs hat I see? Glenn, do you have a Cubs hat also? Also, Scott and Roger, thank you so much. Nice! I love the Cubs hats. Wait, has that been up for a minute and I only just noticed it? <laughs> I'm telling you, it's so much editing. Ah. I love it. Ah, Phil, you got one too. They, uh, you know what? I know what a difficult thing it can be to put a Cubs hat on for those who are not Cubs fans. Thank you so much. So I appreciate it. I love it. I love it. It took me, it took me a second. Alexi, I'm so glad you watched The Mouse Who Screams. Eee! You know what that sounds like? It sounds like the knights, the knights who say knee. Was that a was that a riff on that? We are the mice who scream E. Gabby, thank you. It's late. It's late where you are, isn't it? What is it? Like 10 o'clock? 11 o'clock? I love the sense of humor that lives in this. I was just doing a I talked yesterday. Um, how did I? How did I get into that? Uh, my friend's student was doing uh, a panel on Zoom on uh, women in jazz, since uh, they were part of the jazz program or they were interested in jazz. And today is the last day of uh, Women's History Month this year, but it lives on. It will live on. Um, so, so anyways, they were interviewing different, uh, female singers or mus other musicians, some were instrumentalists and it was so much fun. And, uh, they asked me, they asked, uh, it was my friend, Tony Scruggs, who's also just a great singer, great musician. And they asked us what some of our favorite, uh, or what, what was something that really surprised us in 2020. And I immediately thought of Weekly Wacky Wednesday. And that's just been one of the greatest surprises. I, I risk waxing sentimental. But if you told me at the beginning of 2020 that, that this wonderful community would be created, I would have said, get out of here. Now, I probably would have believed you because cool things do happen. Um, but I'm just, I'm just so happy to have you all here with me. And hang on. Now, now that I see all this, I got to grab my Cubs hat. One second. All right. All right. All right. Let's see. Okay. Can you see me? 
it I think I'm back now. Let's see. Eee! Yay! Okay, I'm back. That was the weirdest thing. Uh, OBS just stopped sending to YouTube. So, I don't know, but it's it's back now. Maybe it maybe they're not Cubs fans. I think that could be it. All right. All right, everybody, refresh and you should see me. You will see me. I got a request for I will. So I'm going to play a little bit of I will for you. Who knows how long I've loved you. You know I, I love you still. song will fill the air. Sing it loud so I can hear you. Make it easy to be near you. But the things you do How is the accordion going? The accordion uh, has not progressed, I'm sad to say. Not for lack of wanting it. Uh, they're, they're just, I don't know if you, you run into this, but there just seems to not be enough time in the day for all the things you want to get to. But I am very passionate about getting the accordion going again. So I'm not, I'm not giving up on the accordion. Woo! Mike, you got your Cubs hat? You representing? I just finished reading an amazing book last night. Um, 
It's called Laris. Uh, that's the English name translation. I think the Russian is Laver. And um, it's by, what's his name? Vadalaskin. Uh, Eugene Vadalaskin. Yevgeny Vadalaskin. Um, and it is such, such a beautiful book. I really recommend it if you're looking for something new to read. It is, uh, don't read so much, play accordion. Um, it's, it's such a beautiful, it's such a beautiful book though. It's, um, it's really hard to try to give a synopsis of it. It's just very rich and the language is beautiful and the characters are so well developed and, uh, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. So I'm always posting the books that I've been reading on my Instagram. So if you want to see more about them, I would recommend going there. Also, also just doing a little bit of business here. Please, please, please pre-save or pre-order the tune Good, 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 also known as Good Times 3, which comes out on Friday, Good Friday. And let me give you a link to the place where you can pre-save uh, it. Here it is. And um, I'm going to be giving a, a preview. So if you're on Patreon, stay tuned. I'm going to be putting something up today. I'm very excited for, for you to see some of the video. And I know that it's 2 o'clock, but we lost a little bit of time there with the weird tech thing going on. So... I want to play another song. This is one that I play a lot, but, uh, uh-oh. Okay, I thought maybe that was, I have a camera out front by the bird. I thought maybe that was the bird. So here is a song. <laughs> here is a song. That's my introduction.
Wait. Ah, oh, Gabby, I'm so glad you got that book. Let me know what you think of it. I hope you like it as much as I did. Yeah, the one-handed guitar thing is a little difficult, isn't it? I gotta practice that. It's hard. That, that's gonna take some practice. But yes, please stay tuned for Friday. I'm so excited for you to hear this, for you to see this. Uh, I think it's probably going to be 7 a.m. I haven't talked yet with Linda about that. But yes, it's coming soon. It's coming soon. So thank you so much for spending your Wednesday with me. Here are to many more Wednesdays and to much more wildlife information. I'll let you know how this goes with the birds. We got to keep an eye on it. It's going to be very interesting. So, so we will see. All right. Uh, you know, there's only, there's only one way that I know to close out the show, and that is with copious amounts of dancing. Someone like you and all you know and how you speak. A kind of love is on the cover of the sea. You know that I can use somebody. Hey, hey, I can use somebody. Someone like me. Oh, cool.